Amigos y fanáticos de Contralón en directo desde WrestleCo, me place presentarles a nada más y a nada menos que Eugene. How you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? I, I love Orlando. Yeah, it's great, Orlando. It's Tracy here in WrestleCon. What do you think about this? I used to live in Orlando when yeah. I was I was a coach for the WWE at the Performance Center for two years. Oh, that's that's great. Yes. What, what can you tell us about the, your experience in the Performance Center? Uh, it was phenomenal. That building is incredible. I heard that I heard that Triple H went to the New York Giants football uh, uh, training center and looked at that training center and said, "That's what I want to pattern my training center after." And this is a, a million dollar complex where guys can learn how to wrestle. They can they can watch matches that are some of the greatest matches of all time. They can learn how to do promos. They can do anything. To, to become a complete performer, that's the place to be. That's awesome. I'm here, Mr. 450 was part of the Cruiserweight Classic. He was part of, you know, the, the, the experience at, down there in the Performance Center. What can you tell us about Mr. 450? I met Mr. 450 in Chicago a long time ago at Victoria's Pizza Restaurant. He was sitting there watching wrestling with me and eating pizza. This is one of the craziest, funnest guys I've ever been around in my entire life. One of the most talented. If this guy is not on a, a major uh, wrestling te television, worldwide television, in the next six months to a year, I will be surprised. That's great. And we hope to be to see him maybe in the WWE, of course. I hope so. I hope so. I've been to Puerto Rico, you know. Yeah, we remember New Year's Revolution, that moment where you cracked your knee. Injured. Can you tell us what happened uh, in that match? So Christian jumped off the top rope and I was going to punch him in the stomach and then something, the ring hit my leg and I tore my patella tendon and I was out for six months. Wow. But I came back after that. I wrestled for Savio's company yeah. two times and then I came back after that and I wrestled for Carlos's company. <laughs> Carlito and I are very good friends and Savio and I, we lived in India for three months. Wow. We lived in India. We, tr we train pro wrestlers in India. I absolutely love Puerto Rico. My wife wants to go. She wants to go and lay on the beach. Wow, awesome. And we hope to see you down there in Puerto Rico. Do you prefer to be a pro wrestler or a trainer? I don't know. I enjoy both because I, like be I like performing in the ring, but I like you know teaching people the knowledge of the craft. That's great. To end this interview, we want to send a message to all the fans in Puerto Rico that are watching you right now. Um, I'm hungry, so I'm going to say, Buen provecho!